What's up guys, Third Impact here, coming at you with the Episode 7 review of Space Dandy. Now, I know things are a little different, I don't have my beard, but like Dandy, sometimes you just gotta go with the flow, and changes happen, and uh, hopefully this doesn't uh, take away any of my credibility, make me look any less wise, because you know, it's all up here, Not it's not about this, it's about this, so... Anyways, moving right along, this was episode 7 of Space Dandy, a very fun episode, a space race episode, if you will, extremely reminiscent of Redline, at least in my opinion. This was the directorial debut of So Toyama, and I feel like he did a really good job. This might not have been the greatest episode of Space Dandy, but it was a fun and action-packed episode. Um, starts off with the crew at Boobies, which was nice, because we haven't really gotten very much Boobies in the last two episodes. It was mentioned uh, at least once in both the last two episodes, but we hadn't visited it, so that was cool. We quickly see that Honey and the girls are more interested in this new character, Prince, and Dandy isn't that happy about this. He makes it his mission to enter this space race and win it, because... You know, just like how Space Dandy goes off on tangents about how he was this amazing surfboarder and how he kind of proved that to be true, he was also an insane uh, racer back in the day, too. And we're just going to have to take his word for this. And you know what? By the end of the episode, it turns out he really must have been because he's either insane or he has extremely good luck because almost this entire episode is basically about... This Prince character who's super, super sparkly and shiny. His hair is constantly emitting sparkles. Almost reminded me of uh, Mickey Sugi and Kill La Kill and his glowing nipples with this guy's fabulous hair. But anyways, I digress. Um, it is a space race full of crazy, crazy characters. Uh, it's introducing them all. It's ridiculousness. I watched this both subbed and dubbed, and both of them have their strong points. Some of the dialogue I found more funny in the dub, like when uh, Prince starts kind of noticing Dandy a bit more at the end and says something like, Oh, Dandy, right? And uh, in the dub it was, that's space dandy to you. That's that's funny. In the in the sub, it was just like, oh, can I call you dandy? And he's like, no. So things like that weren't as funny. But then on the other hand, the um, maraca shaking male boob alien announcer guy, he was really funny in the sub. I found uh, yelling things in English like unbelievable and super cool, which was awesome. In the dub, it was also kind of awesome because it was voiced by Dan Green. But, you know, the sub was a bit more funny. So, between sub and dub, I'm going to have to go with sub on this one. Again, crazy space race episode. I don't really know if there's a whole lot to say about this episode. I mean, it was fun. Uh, Dandy's doing this race. He's using all his... As soon as the race starts, he has to go for his last resort only after seconds and all of these last resorts involve explosions and him using explosions just perfectly to propel himself forward in really stupid and ridiculous ways using fishing lines that don't work at all and pretty much Danny's just rocking out and the only one that messes up is Meow who doesn't put the right fuel in he just throws in a bunch of random crap like dim sum and sushi and like all this other stuff into the gas tank which in the home stretch causes this crazy uh, complex explosion coincidence of like what are the chances that not only turns Prince gay, he finds out he loves Dandy in the home stretch, but this explosion pretty much makes Dandy's Aloha Oi ram into Prince's uh, spaceship at like Mach 7 or something or from behind it was ridiculous um pretty much this attacking from behind uh creates this like rip in the space time continuum where it ends on a really cool trippy note there's like spirals all over the place and Dandy's just trapped in this space for like billions of years and he finally falls out of this space time loop and he looks back and he sees this giant dandy Buddha. And it was just, I don't know. There's no real explanation for how this episode ended. It was this crazy space race that ended in a huge explosion, which got him 
um, trapped in time and then fell out of time, and it was just a random space dandy ending. But it was really cool action, really cool watching him use all his explosions to propel himself forward. He even transformed into the Hawaii Yankee for a bit and did some mech battling, which was totally badass. So overall, this was just a great, uh, quick, fun, action-packed Space Dandy episode. And from the preview for next week's episode, it's looking to be quite a change of pace. It was described in the preview as the unexpectedly depressing episode or unexpectedly sad or emotional episode. So that'll be um, something. Maybe it'll even top um, episode five with the, uh, with, those, with the little girl. So we'll have to see how that goes. But, I mean... Otherwise, I think I liked it more than last week's. It was crazier and more action-packed funny, but not necessarily as, uh, like, impactful on an emotional level or, like, a uh, revolutionary sort of level. It really was playing on the whole Red Line sort of hype. But, I mean, Red Line, right? Everybody goes on and on about Red Line. Seven years hand-drawn, all this stuff. I think Space Dandy did a pretty good job for a... Uh, fairly hand-drawn anime in the short time that they did to get a nice little like chunk of red line just kind of taken right out of there so that was really good good on them so congratulations so toyama on your directorial debut i really liked it and i will see you guys all soon for more videos please uh support me in my no beard i need it i'm i feel much different it's scary and i will see you guys soon peace